next presenter is at 7 p.m. and that's Sophia Kearns and she's going to be talking about building a website in a small business um, and then at the end we'll open up the chat for questions and comments okay perfect so I'll just play it so for my capstone project I focused on building a website for my um, small business Zest by Sophia. So this is something that I've been doing for most of my life, but my capstone was focused on building a platform to like show some of the work that I've done and also get an insight into business and all the socials that go behind it. So I can I'm gonna do like a walkthrough of the website, which first the URL is just zestbysophia.com. So yeah, so we have home, about, menu, events, blog, and contact. And so on the home page, it brings you to this, live your zest life, it's delicious. And then here are arrows to control it, feast your eyes, your face, and then some more joy, sweet classics, because I like puns, apparently. Um, and these are images from previous events and stuff that I've done. So when you scroll down, you're brought to a testimonial page or section. And if you just click here, you can see the different things that people have said. So we have five and then there's a few more in the event section, but here are five testimonials from people who have experienced uh, different things from Zest by Zofia, whether they like ordered and I catered or they came to events or any of that. But I'm super thankful for the people that were willing to speak or like say a few words about the business. And then you scroll down and make to order new blog posts that range from fun Zest events and activities to in-season specials that could be delivered right to your door. So the homepage is basically like it gives you a little bit of information, but then it also links, like if you click read more, then it'll bring you to the blog page. So I'll get there in a second, but so going back to the home page, so this will just bring you to the blog page. And then latest events, stay up to date with the latest at Zest by Zofia, check out past events as well as ones to come. And it's always good to be ahead. So I see what's in store for the future. So I've had, I've like catered and like, cook for people like for most of my life but like I've had recently I like started doing events where 100% uh, uh, of the proceeds would go to a good cause or charities so there's a few more on the events page which I will also get to but so if you click on any of these it leads you to the event page so I had a Zest 2018 and 2019 pop up and then a uh, studio tour for an agency, a design agency, Income Pixel. So that was all cool. And then if you scroll down, then you see my story, which is like, I don't know, it gives you more insight, but there's also an about page. But um, I'm not striving for perfection. Sorry, I'm striving to make a difference one bite at a time. So it's just a few things like how I started cooking at a young age, which obviously I wasn't cooking that first picture, but that's just a picture of me. And then I studied the culinary arts and would like practice with pastry chef Nancy at Cafe Routier, which I thought was super cool to like get an insight into like being a pastry chef and like working at a restaurant. And then people started to place orders. I think I would say I was about like 11 here or something. And people would like place orders for parties, events, whatever, like I've done um, like wedding showers and baby showers and just like from any event, like big or small, I'm willing to do it. And then 2018 was the first like pop up Zest event where people came and supported the business. And then here we have the footer, which you could press this arrow and it'll bring you back to the top. But it's one of my logos. Um, and then a little like like a perfectly baked pastry I created Zest by Zofia with love and it shows enjoy 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 which is something my grandfather used to say which I feel like I mentioned a few times throughout the website because I like to reference him because I was really inspired by him and then contact us 
obviously, if you wanted to contact me for like an order or whatever, you just press it and, or yeah, you could call me. And then blog post, this links back to the blog post. So if you click it, it'll bring you to the blog. And Instagram, I am will be honest, I'm very bad at social media. I don't post on social media ever, but once I do, it is linked so it'll start to populate um, the second I like post on my Display Sophia Instagram. So then the post will show up here. So that links to my Instagram account. So moving on to the about, I wanted to tell people why I started Zest and what it means to me. And it's just about doing what I love. So I started Zest and cooking for others because it was something that I love and something that made me happy. I think we find joy in like things that inspire us. So things that inspire me is like art, especially my grandfather, Paul Zelanski's, um, kindness, joy, and Mr. Rogers, because I love Mr. Rogers. And then all things yellow and zesty, because that's like my brand, Zest by Sophia and Lemons. And I'm more than willing to make people happy and cater to any of their culinary needs. Dietary restrictions aren't a problem. I love cooking like paleo, gluten-free, dairy-free, anything, I'll do it. I love making people happy because nobody should be left out. So then here are some pictures. So like, this was like a s'mores cake I did with like a little campfire and stuff. This is a yellow submarine cake. Um, that's like the top of it. And if you click here, it'll like bring you through the pictures, but this shows that I do savory stuff too. This is a chocolate leaf, a dairy free blueberry ham pie ice cream sandwich. I don't know, I was kind of experimenting with that one. Um, these were also an experiment dessert. Um, and then, so yeah, I just do stuff like all over, stuff that makes me happy, stuff that I hope makes other people happy. There's like, I'm willing to do whatever. So also these were meringue ghosts. So, and then the menu I wanted to put just to give people like an idea of like the stuff that I do. So for Zest 2018 and 19, here is the menu of the first Zest I did. And then, and there's like vegan and gluten-free options and all that. And then, and going back, I think the key lime pie jars and the s'more jars are among the most popular of the things I make. I get a lot of orders for those. And then the following year, this was my other menu. So there's gluten-free options, vegan options, all that. Um, paleo. So, yeah. And then here's more pictures. Once again, if you like click on them, like this was for a, um, like a road trip we did where my mom and her sister and then my, my aunt's two daughters and then me and my sister. So there are three sets of sisters. My mom, of course, designed a logo for it. And I made a pie based on the logo for, because we created a logo for a road trip, I guess. Um, yeah, so these are just some pictures. Like this was a bush de Noel with edible pine cones and, um, what are they called? mushrooms <laughs> so yeah and these are from like all over the years like i feel like i was probably like 11 when i made that and like these were recent some of these were like yeah so i i started at a young age and i'm progressing and i practice more and more okay and going on to the events page as i said so here on these three these are the dates i held them um and then these are upcoming events so once it's safe to do so i'm gonna you know hold these events and i'm really excited to do that but so this was a first pop-up where 100 percent of the proceeds go to cancer research and closer to free which is an amazing organization that helps those battling cancer and it's just a really awesome thing out there so we raised I feel like almost three thousand dollars. Like it was really successful, and I was beyond grateful for everybody that supported um, me. And then there was the menu to this event on the menu page, like I said. Um, so yeah, and then going back. So same thing for Zest twenty nineteen, also successful. Same charity. Um, here's another uh, testimonial. Testimonial. Um, and 
so yeah i was that was great and then this was for a studio tour and i so this one the menus here and actually on ink and pixels website here's more pictures of like these were the cupcakes these were like these jar desserts i kind of like experimented with flavors um these were some of the people so it was a really fun experience yeah and that the um people donated uh like clothes and shoes for souls for souls which is an, also an amazing organization so yes and then the pop of color so like i said i'm really inspired by my grandfather's art and i also love yukon it's my dream college so once it's safe to do so i will will be holding a pop of color event because my grandfather was all about color theory and just being creative and expressing yourself in whatever way possible so 100 percent of the proceeds of this event will go to the paul zelansky award of excellence fund at the yukon foundation which is super cool i'm really excited to do it and then here's i'm creating a menu for it but since i'm not able to host the event yet it's an ongoing menu i'm gonna add more stuff but i'm really excited to do that and then lastly i've also always wanted to do a literary because i love books so i've always wanted to do a literary themed event so i created a menu once again still like adding on to it but stuff that is inspired by books and like the themes of books because i'm just really inspired by that and of course i put a stephen king quote because i love stephen king um but so like for catch in the rye like whiskey and rye chocolate chip cookies or black and white cookies for jekyll and hyde and like um yeah, so I'm super, super excited for that. And for this, I decided that 100% of the proceeds will go to Black Visions Collective, a Black, trans, and queer-led organization that's committed to dismantling systems of oppression and violence and shifting the public narrative to create transformative long-term change because I think now more than ever, we really need to be activists and just we need to create the world that we want to live in. So I'm really excited to do that too. Once again, I'm not rushing it once it is more than safe to go out and gather people around again i will do that host this event um which there will be more information like yeah but the thing about this capstone is that i'm gonna add on to it like so when you go to the blog post there's four blog posts but i am gonna continue to add on to it so this capstone isn't something where I research and then it um, then it like stops after the capstone. Like I'm gonna keep building onto it because it's something I'm passionate about. And I just thought this capstone gave me a wonderful opportunity to really express this and give me a chance to build this website. So um, so here we have seasonal specials. So I just did stuff on stuff stuff posts on stuff I wanted to highlight and so seasonal specials because i use locally sourced ingredients and because you could really taste a difference i would never want to like bake stuff that isn't good and i just want to put out stuff that i don't know i really love so like just like examples if you contact me i'm willing to do whatever you want me to make but like for instance as an autumn zest specialty you could have a greek yogurt panna cotta with a spiced apple compote and a delicate crumble delivered right to your door or you could have that a bush de noel with meringue mushrooms and sugared cranberries or a lemon poppy seed biscuit bursting with macerated strawberries and a freshly whipped cream which is here this is at one of the zest events and there's fresh mint from my garden and they're like in jars so you could take it to go or you could have a sweet peach cobbler with freshly churned vanilla bean ice cream or a homemade s'mores kit where you could perfectly toast marshmallows everything here is homemade homemade vanilla bean marshmallows and graham crackers and there's always a gluten-free option so those are just examples of stuff that if you contact us i can do for you and on all the blog posts there's tags so if you press it it'll link you to the other posts that are related and then 
Going back, we have cookie deliveries. So I recently made um, salted brown butter toffee chocolate chip cookies, and I drove all over Connecticut um, with masks and gloves, totally sanitary, of course. Um, and we delivered it to people all over Connecticut, and that was really fun. So, and once again, some people couldn't have gluten, so there was gluten-free options. But that was super fun, and I loved that, and it was all packaged up. Oops. And then, um, sometimes simple is best. So this is just saying how simplicity can very well be the key to brilliance or joy. Like, I'm just saying, like, if you contact us, it doesn't have to be. It could just be for, like, a few cookies or, like, whatever you want. And it's just, these were actually paleo, healthy, refined sugar-free chocolate cupcakes, which I love with homemade chocolate sprinkles. I love making these. These are one of my favorites. And um, last post was bestsellers. So, like I mentioned before, um, key lime pie jars and lemon cake and s'mores. And these are just very popular things because they're in season and local and people just love them. So, and it's, I say trial and error because I like, would like to think that I've like perfected these and like this is something that people really like. And here are the, some cookies. So yeah. And then going on to the contact page, um, this is if you, if you just put your name and email and then you could if you leave a comment if like what you want i will get back to you and have it delivered to your door and i would like for if i any um orders leading up to any of the events i would love for the proceeds to go to the transgender law center which uh fights for racial justice for all people of all communities um, and to keep transgender and gender non-conforming people like alive, thriving, and fighting for liberation. Because once again, we need to fight for what's right in this world. And yeah, and I would love to donate. Um, so yeah, so I created just a uh, quick slide here to answer some of the questions on a capstone. So why I chose this topic? I saw it as a way to sort of try out life or a career by pretending. Like, I don't know what I want my future to be. I don't know if I want to be a pastry chef. Um, I mean, I love cooking, but like, I don't know. Like, there's like law interest me. Like, there's a lot of things that interest me, but this gave me an amazing chance to like try out life and just see follow something I'm passionate about and really promote it and let other people know what I love to do and the steps I took so I with my mentor Audrey Bowen at Ink and Pixel Agency and um an amazing programmer Gordon Holman um they I could not have done this without them because this was kind of like I did not know how to build a website but they really helped me they like they were incredibly helpful and so I we had to do like user interface research so it's um, compatible on laptop computer phone whatever device you're looking at it on and then we laid out the site architecture and like the steps um, we were going to take and then so then like each picture had to be like the right size and like pixel dimension so we had to like you know go into like adobe photoshop and prop it and everything and then so um and then the programmer would help with any problems on the site's back end which was really helpful considering i did not know how to um like do anything related to like i guess coding and like websites and then, but I learned a lot along the way. And so then uh, we figured out how to put input information and get like each page, like the about page, the blog page was a different like sort of layout. And there was a lot of things that we need to like pull out because it wasn't helpful and then rearranged it. And then we had to like create a new logo or like alter the logo so it would look good on the website and we previewed the site and yeah, so the steps, at the beginning, I set up goals and I slowly achieved them and figured out how to do everything. And then 
I saw progress. I was super excited because it was live from the beginning. Like even when there was a, like barely anything there, you could still go on it. And then at the end, now everything that I wanted was on the site and now I can edit freely and it's still gonna, I'm still gonna update it. It's like an ongoing process. And here's some problems that I encountered. The back end was really messed up, but with the help of a programmer and my mentor and everybody at Ink and Pixel Agency that was able to be worked out. Um, yeah, and a weird layout or loss of info, like some things didn't want to save. And then I just had to teach myself and other, like, with the help of everybody, I was able to learn a lot and it was really good. It was an amazing opportunity to, um, yeah, I was just so grateful for the experience, experience and it was great. I love doing it. Um, so what I learned, so I learned how to make a website, how to overcome obstacles. I got the experience of a moderately like six months, um, well, about a few months. Yeah. So long-term research project. I think I had like 80 hours on this. Um, it helped me get in contact with people of the community and that really was great. And now my business has a platform for others to see on my business cards. There's a website and I'm just so happy that it's up and the cons. I kind of went into it blind, wasn't sure what I was like getting myself into, but I learned a lot. So there was definitely more con or pros than cons and none of the cons were like negative. They were just like obstacles I had to overcome, but I couldn't have done it without everybody that was helping me. So, um, and what's to come. So events, like I said, I will be hosting more events where the proceeds will go to amazing organizations, media. I need to update and work on um, a social media to expand the platforms and yeah, just keep going. Um, spreading smiles, cause I just love making people happy in whatever way I can. And I love helping out um, whatever way I can, because that's what we all need to do. Like we don't need to do like together, we could just do so much. And I really love that. So, and then more progress. So it's ongoing. I'm going to add more blog posts. I'm going to add to the event page. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's my capstone project. Um, if you have any questions, um, I will answer them, but it was an amazing opportunity and I'm so grateful for this experience. The capstone was awesome. And yeah, that's a little insight into me and some of my passions and what I love to do. So, bye. Okay. That was great. Thank nice, you. Nice job. I have to confess, I got hungry <laughs> during your presentation. <laughs> that I had to go get a snack in the pantry. <laughs> nice. It looked delicious, really. Um, and there's so much uh, creativity and art that goes behind it. You can tell that you really are meticulous um, Thank you. with your work. Um, and I know that it was a multifaceted capstone project, not only the culinary piece to it, but also um, the website design, which your website was very professionally done. Um, really, really impressive. I know it took a lot of research. Yeah, thank you. So I'm just going to read off the comments here, and if anyone else is tuning in, you can use the chat feature on the bottom of your Zoom screen to um, put comments and questions. Mr. Masseni said, oh my goodness, everything looks so delicious. You have taken the culinary experience to a new level. I'm so impressed with your ability to take your extraordinary talents and combine them with promoting social and community growth. Great job. Oh, thank you. I mean, anybody's free to place an order. <laughs> When did um when did you start your website? Was it with the capstone or was it prior to that? Yeah, I started the website for like at the beginning of when I started working on the capstone. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I didn't have anything before. Have you found that it's made a difference in terms of your sales and getting your name out there? I mean, I guess so. Like I like recently like finished it, so like it was ongoing and like like I said, it was like live so like even when it wasn't done people could still go on it but now that it's finished i'm hoping that it'll help that and everything but yeah i've had orders and it's great absolutely yeah and i think people are very keen on ordering online they find it easier than yeah. home so um yeah it was very very impressive nice job thank you I'll be checking that out later <laughs> thank you all right
Um, we have another comment here from Miss Snow. This is absolutely amazing. Your passion comes through every detail. Not only are you doing something you love with zest, you are bringing the community together. Your website's focus on color and imagery really gives the visitor an idea of what your brand is and gives you gives what you are all about. That's very true. Thank you. I think we can all say that we're very, very impressed and um, keep up the good work and can't wait to order something from. <laughs> Thank you. All right.